Exodus chapter 10. And Yah said to Moshe, Go into Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart in the hearts of his servants, so that I show these signs of mine before him, and that you relate in the hearing of your son and your son's sons what I have done in Mitzrayim, and my signs which I have done among them, and you shall know that I am Yah. And Moshe and Aharon came into Pharaoh and said to him, Thus say Yah, father of the Hebrews, Till when shall you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go so that they serve me. Or else, if you refuse to let my people go, see tomorrow I am bringing locusts within your borders. And they shall cover the surface of the land so that no one is able to see the land. And they shall eat the rest of what has escaped, which remains to you from the hell. They shall eat every tree which grows up for you out of the field. And they shall fill your houses, and the houses of all your servants, and the houses of all the Mitzrites, which neither your father nor your father's fathers have seen, since the day that they were on the earth to this day. Then he turned and went out from Pharaoh. And Pharaoh's servants said to him, Till when would this be one a snare to us? Let the men go, so that they serve Yah their Elohim. Do you not yet know that Mizraim is destroyed? And Moshe and Aharon were brought back to Pharaoh. And he said to them, Go serve Yah, your Elohim. Who are the ones that are going? And Moshe said, We are going with our young and our old, with our sons, our daughters, with our flocks and our herds. We are going, for we have a festival to Yah. And he said to them, Let Yah be with you, as I let you and your little ones go. Watch, for evil is before your face. Not so. You men now, you men go now and serve Yah, for that is what you desired. And they were driven out from the presence of Pharaoh. And Yah said to Moshe, Stretch out your hand over the land of Mitzrayim, for the locusts to come upon the land of Mitzrayim and eat every plant of the land, all that the hell has left. And Moshe stretched out his rod over the land of Mitzrayim, and Yah brought an east wind on the land all that day and all that night. Morning came, and the east wind brought the locusts. And the locusts went up over all the land of Mitzrayim and settled within all the borders of Mitzrayim, very grievous. There had never been locusts like them before, nor would there again be like them. And they covered the surface of all the land, so that the land was darkened, and they ate every plant of the land and all the fruit of the trees which the hell had left. And no greenness was left on the trees or on the plants of the field in all the land of Mitzrayim. Pharaoh then called for Moshe and Aharon in haste and said, I have sinned against Yah, your Elohim, and against you. And now please forgive my sin. Only this once, and pray to Yah your Elohim that he will only turn away this death from me. And he went out from Pharaoh and prayed to Yah. And Yah turned a very strong west wind and took the locusts away and blew them into the sea of reeds. Not one locust was left within the border of Mitzrayim. However, Yah strengthened the heart of Pharaoh and he did not let the children of Israel go. And Yah said to Moshe, Stretch out your hand toward the heavens. And let there be darkness over the land of Mitzrayim, even the darkness which is felt. And Moshe stretched out his hand toward the heavens, and there was thick darkness in all the land of Mitzrayim for three days. They did not see one another, nor did anyone rise from his place for three days, while all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. And Pharaoh called to Moshe and said, Go serve Yah, only leave your flocks and your herds behind. Let your little ones go with you too. But Moshe said, You yourself are to provide us with slaughterings and ascending offerings to prepare for Yah our father. And our livestock are to go with us too. Not a hoof is to be left behind, for we have to take some of them to serve Yah our father. And we ourselves do not know with what we are to serve Yah until we come there. However, Yah strengthened the heart of Pharaoh. And he would not let them go. And Pharaoh said to him, Get away from me. Watch yourself and see my face no more. For in the day you see my face, you die. And Moshe said, You have spoken rightly. Never again 
do I see your face?